Today we're trying the double cheeseburger pizza from Baba John's. Stick around, we'll tell you if it's worth the trip. Hi guys! What's up everybody? Hey! And welcome back to the channel. I'm Kelly. I'm Steve. I'm Eric. And we're the trips. We try out all the fancy new foods and let you know if it's worth the trip. Alright guys, today we are trying the new double cheeseburger pizza from Papa John's! Papa Eric, John's. Was really I, I, I was like, in my own little world where there, I was like, we're trying a pizza! <laughs> it has beef, pickles, Roma tomato sauce, and burger sauce. I don't really know What's what burger sauce? Burger sauce. I don't know, we'll find out, I guess. Um, for a large size, they only had it available in large here in Canada. <sighs> Guys, I mean, Talk to me, how much was this thing? Was the day? Tell me. Think we would be used Tell to me this what I'm paying for this thing now. $18.99, add on $2.47 for tax, and a grand total of $21.46. That's a spicy meat of ball. That's a and there's pricey no, pizza, there's wow. No delivery on that because we actually picked it up. So. One, almost 22 bucks for a large pizza. I mean, this better be the pizza of all pizzas. This thing better be phenomenal. I <laughs> feel like we should be used to it by now. All these like fancy schmancy specialty pizzas, they just like. It's not your walk-in special. They jack up the prices. Yeah. Maybe it'll be worth it. But. Well, so they jack up the prices, but they haven't really necessarily been jacking up the uh, flavors. So that's we're, the problem. We're gonna find out. <laughs> Oh, this big large pizza. I'm so drama. That, is it that heavy? <laughs> All right, who's the B-roll? All right, camera ready. All right, guys, let's open her up and see. It smells good already. Right. It does, it smells really good. Big so. reveal here, let's see what this thing looks like. Da -da 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 -da. Cracker open. Okay. Oh, it looks kind of okay. pretty. It it's got lots of colors. Oh, it smells good. It smells really good. My first observation is that their beef does not look like rabbit poop. It doesn't look great. Well, it's most of it's buried oh, in it cheese. It's not just sitting on top. It's Who? actually like in the cheese. Who so. had rabbit poop? The other pizza we tried. From Papa John's? Here? No, it was Domino's. Domino's. Oh, there we go. Domino's. Look up here. Yeah. You'll find that video. I mean, ground beef isn't cute to begin with. No. But it looks, you know, it's not that bad. But well, it looks it's colorful. It's not as obvious. It's more buried under the cheese. But uh, and we got two. Uh, two what are the, they? The Pe peppers, yeah. Pepperoncinos or something. Pepper, so, yeah, they're called pepperoncinos. Pepperoncinos. Pepper, pepperoncinos. I'm probably saying it way wrong. But I looked it up on the website last time, and that's what they were called. I was I'll just ignoring because I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything because. Yeah. All right, but I see pickles. Oh my gosh, pickles are so yummy. The crust looks really good though. Look at the size of that crust, man. That's nice and thick. All that right. Thicky crust. I'm looking forward to try this. Pass the napkin. Let's jump in. I want a piece with pickle. Oh, this actually smells really, really good. It Look. smells good just from sitting over here, yeah. I wonder if the burger sauce mm. is like oh, Big Mac sauce. Pickles on this. Mm. I wonder. There's some sort of. Uh, There's an orangey sauce. Yeah, on maybe Let's that's see this it. This orangey sauce. So yeah. I wonder if it's like a. Uh, Big Mac type sauce. It, it oh, looks maybe. like it, yeah. Maybe. Like a Thousand Island type. Isn't that what they say Let's Big Mac sauces? Yeah, it's yeah. like a Thousand Island sauce left in the sun. All right, guys. I'm, I'm enough of this fancy camera work. Let's eat. Cheers, everybody. Here we go. That's so weird. Mm, the pickles are delicious. I taste Big Mac. Yeah. I bite of this thing, I taste Big Mac. And you're right. I gotta get a little shot of this, but that sauce right there is totally Thousand Island dressing. That, that's what they're calling the, the burger sauce. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely has a Big well, Mac taste to it. I mean, they obviously can't call it Big Mac sauce, so they're just calling it burger sauce. Papa's not stupid. He's gonna get sued if you call it Big Mac sauce. Yeah. My first impression is it's really good. Mm. <laughs> it's mean, nice, yeah. I'm gonna try another bar. All I really taste is that Big Mac sauce, to be honest. See, a I, little bit of the pickle, but that's it. My I, there's my, no meat on here, right? Eh? Yeah, there is. is there? Right there. Oh yeah, the ground beef, beef, ground beef, yeah. I taste the burger sauce, but it's not overpowering to me. I think we have to correct ourselves at the beginning when I was reading the description, because I think that it is actually like pieces of the Roma tomato. There is no tomato sauce, it's the burger sauce that's the base. I just yeah. mixed it up when I was reading, so... Okay. Correction! <laughs> don't come at us. Because I don't see any actual tomato sauce. It's no, the, no, it's, it's the burger sauce. Yeah, exactly. If I pull up the, the cheese, it's all the Mac Thousand Island dressing sauce, the burger sauce. The not Big Mac, Big Mac not, sauce. It's not Big Mac sauce, it's like a suit. 
Underneath there's no actual tomato sauce. Yeah. Tomato sauce. So, uh, correction to the beginning description, it is definitely the burger sauce is the base. He's just going in over here. <laughs> um, my first impression is good. I think I like it a lot because there isn't a ton of the crappy ground beef that people put on pizzas that never taste good. Um, I like the pickles, the tomatoes make it feel fresh. And the burger sauce is just a nice change versus the mm. tomato sauce and the crust is really good. I was super skeptical about pickles on, on a pizza, but in this case it works. Like good. my first bite was pickles. I got everything in the first bite. Pickles, the beef, the cheese, and that uh, that was not the dressing, the, the burger sauce. Yeah. And it was really good. It totally tasted just like a Big Mac. Yeah, it really does. It tastes exactly like a Big Mac. It's, uh, it's good. I was surprised. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a lot either, but uh, I like it. So it's, yeah, it's weird though. It's a weird taste. Like it's still kind of mind warping. See, I don't think it's that mind confusing. Like I've had pizzas where I'm like, is this good or is this bad? I think it all works really well together. And definitely it helps that it's not thin crust because we clearly have had bad experiences with thin crust at Papa John's. Let's talk about that Jack Leonard pizza. Let's not. Let's not. <laughs> I know there's some other cheeseburger pizzas out there from competing chains. This one I think definitely hit the mark better than the other one. This by far is the best cheeseburger pizza I've had so far. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. Did he... Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. I'm not sure if I like it. <laughs> oh no! I don't know. You just ate the whole thing. No, I know I didn't it because you had to sit here eating it, I know, but I, I don't know. Hmm. It doesn't really taste bad, but... Well, it's not... You're used to having tomato yeah. sauce on a pizza. Yeah. It's well, different. It's definitely different, yeah. I'm just not sure if I'm a fan of it or not. Oh, yeah, think about it. Yes, yes. I thought this was going to be unanimous, but it might not be. That's the... Uh... Do you guys want to try take a bite of these before? Sure, I love these things. Can you try one? Is that spicy? I don't know. It's no. peppercino or something. She on the with a pizza. Is it... <laughs> Eric's like, oh my god, it's going to be so it's hard. It's spicy. Is it hard? It's spicy. Are you serious? No, but you try some. No. Yeah, right. It's not spicy. It's spicy, but... A little bit peppery. <laughs> my, mouth, my lips are a little bit on fire right now. Oh, okay. All right, do you guys want to clean it up, wrap it up, bread. deliberate, and decide individually if it is uh, worth let's, it? Let's see. I thought it was going to be unanimous, but I doubt it now. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. All right, we are back, and now it is time to let you know if it's worth the trip to Papa John's. Oh, it's tough. The pizza wasn't bad. I really like the crust. The price is stupid expensive, so no, it's not worth the trip. It was okay. Uh, kind of a gimmicky pizza. The the Big Mac sauce was okay, but burger didn't really sauce. win me over burger sauce. <laughs> so no. And for the twenty dollar price tag, no way I'd ever get this again. What do you think? I gotta say yes with the trip. I thought this pizza hit the mark. This is by far the best cheeseburger pizza I've eaten so far. I always thought the pickles were were good. The meat was good. I really liked the that was island dressing sauce. Burger sauce. The burger sauce. You guys have so much trouble <laughs> on the, with that. On the pizza, like totally reminded me of a Big Mac when I first bit into this thing. So I'm gonna say it's different, it's fun, it tastes good, worth a trip. Yeah, I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna say it's worth a trip for a specialty fun pizza. It definitely hit the mark. I think it was what I was expecting it was gonna taste like. The $18.99 price tag, I mean, at this point in time, we're just used to it. They usually have specials where you can get like half price online sometimes, so fingers crossed for those, but I would definitely eat it again. So it looks like you and I are splitting it out of pizza. Boom! He's it on his own, but worth the trip for me. So it's two out of three. Two out of three ain't bad. I mean, Popeyes usually has a very controversial rating at the end every time we do. Papa John's? Papa John's, not Popeyes. <laughs> Hey, I pulled a seed. Uh, Papa John's usually has kind of us all mixed up in our thoughts and our what we our opinions. Yeah, so. I don't think we've ever had a unanimous <clears throat> I don't worth think so. the trip, have we? I'm not for Papa John's. No, I think it's always been kind of it's a mixed bag. One or two of us have never been a fan of something we've eaten there. So probably a pass this time. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget we have new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, and we go live every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Let us know you liked it. You know, if you're digging our reviews, a thumbs up really helps our channel. Hit that bell down below for notifications of future uploads, and don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below. Have you tried the cheeseburger pizza from Papa John's? Let us know in the comments what you thought of this pizza down below. All right, guys, stick around for some bloopers. Keep been chill. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> Hi, guys. What's up, everybody? <laughs> hey. hey, hey. <laughs>
Hi guys! What's up everybody? Hi! And welcome back to the channel. And we're the Trits. And we try stuff. We put it in our mouth and we eat it and tell you if it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we are back and it is time to let you know if it is worth the trip to Papa John's. He still has his mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give him a second. We we'll do a dance while we wait. There's some bloopers for you. We want to do it again? Start again? That's okay. With us you get real life. <laughs> 